Welcome back to Paradise, the official Paramount Eels podcast, sponsored by Remitly, the fast, safe, and secure way to send your money. Now, it's me and Kennedy, because, you know, Laney's off doing what people TikTok. do in the NRO off-season, go Bali or Japan. I don't know where you are, Laney. Um, but Kennedy, how are you? Yo, it's good to be back, yes. It's been a while. I'm off to Japan too, so... Oh, you're going to Japan yeah, as well? Did you just get back from Bali? I did so, just yeah. get back from Bali. Um, <laughs> it was wonderful. No, nah, it's been good. Um, you know, we finished up the season. Yeah. Um, good to be back. I'm in a brace, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll touch on that. But um, so Japan is that you, who are you going with? Um, my sister and my boyfriend. So we're bringing oh. a little child along. She's oh. gonna third wheel oh, take she's photos. Third. She's purely <laughs> there to take photos of us. <laughs> Just now. to take a couple photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, no, nah, but um, I went back in 2017 to play sevens back in the day, but yeah. thought you know. Got some time what's off. So, what's so nice about Japan? Why is everyone like culture? Going? Culture, yeah. Different, respectful. Yeah. It reminds me of like my culture back okay. in New Zealand, just really to yourself, but yeah. just so respectful. Oh, just amazing, beautiful food. Mm, okay. You love ramen? That's the place to be. Okay, I, I need to put that on a list of places to yeah, go. Well, isn't that like one of the only places you haven't been? Probably. You've been. I've been around. You know, I'm well. I'm a well-traveled man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, that's good. That's good. And anyway, let's talk about, let's get into the season a little bit. Yeah. All right. You, you know, you obviously, you got hurt, you got injured. What did you, what did you actually do? So, yeah, I can probably speak about this now. But um, round six, mm -hmm. uh, hyper extended my knee backwards, Ooh. trying to stop a try. Didn't stop the try, which sucked. It would have been cool if, you know, stopped the try. But yeah. Um, yeah, one of the girls, one of my mates actually, um, dove for the try, went straight into my knee. Um, if the mechanism, if you watched it, yeah. probably on one of the pages, it's kind of everywhere. If my ankle Was doesn't roll. NRL physio as well? Yeah, oh, yes, Jesus. I made the page. Um, <laughs> oh, damn, you made it. Didn't want to make it, but <laughs> if my ankle rolls, Rolls, doesn't yeah. roll, I do my ACL, break my femur. So it would have been probably two seasons out. So, so it's actually a good thing. It's a good thing. So partial tear of LCL oh, and okay. we're good. We get this off tomorrow. Oh, so wow. That's I'm sick of it. How long have you been in it for now? Four weeks tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah. how have you been mentally? Obviously, you know, the season. Yeah. You missed well, a little bit chunk of the season. And we know that the season's kind of short yeah. as it is. Hey, you're very educated in the yeah, NRLW these know, days. They need, they need to extend it. They need to extend that. I'm an yes, advocate, you know? You heard him first. So. Um, no, it's it was been a roller coaster. Obviously, the girls have done really well without me. So mm -hmm. that's kind of been bittersweet. Yeah. Um, I want to be out there and obviously finished up uh, equal equal fourth, mm -hmm. uh, fifth by four and against. So not a bad season, yeah. eh? Really proud of the new teams added. How did you find it with the new teams added? Like next year. Next year? Next yep. year? Okay, yep. next year. <laughs> <laughs> so two more teams next year. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can keep our crew together because we're building something in the George Alice era. That's what I love. Okay, amazing. And the new players coming in, you're also, you're also like a, a leadership role. How is that? You know, because when you're leading from the field, mm. it's a bit different from when you're leading off the field. Off the field, yeah. it's a little bit different. Well, like, are you still as bubbly as you know as you are before? We'll probably have to ask our guest that one. But yeah. um, introducing our number nine, Tanika Todd Hunter. Um, she is an amazing player from Dubbo, so a country girl, a proud Indigenous woman, and she is a lightning bolt on the field. She'll catch you if you're tired. She'll catch you scoring a try she'll <laughs> if you've got your back turned she'll score a try on you um so talented young fresh full of energy you think i'm full of energy oh, this really? one's got tenfold okay. um introducing sneaks uh hello sneaks hello. tanika how sneaks, are you i'm on? great how are you i'm good thank you sneaks it's where's the cool. where's the nickname come from can we start um, there? i used to play basketball oh yes yeah, so i played basketball rep basketball back home for yeah five years yeah. and I was very sneaky, very small, uh, probably the uh, uh, oldest on the team, but yeah. the shortest. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I used to come up behind and take the ball from everyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that <laughs> name, oh, that's pretty cool. Sneaks. It's yeah, cool. That's yeah. a cool nickname. It basically, uh, that is your name it's on the me. field too. So like <laughs> you're sneaking around the rack, yeah. you're sneaking yeah. on the try, you're sneaking. Yeah. She's um, a weapon in defense too. You should see some of her highlight reels. Uh, she'll put you on your backside. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She just gets under nice and low, picks you up and drops. I think people underestimate sneaks as well on the field because, okay. you know, they think, oh, people are small. They, they can't do. tackle. I, they target me out. I see, sometimes I see them, like, look me dead in my eyes. Oh, and, like, really? Run yeah. Yeah. You. You. Yeah. So talk to us about your early years. I know yeah. you're really a big advocate, for, especially for young Dubbo girls. Um, how did you become first interested in rugby league? Like, tell us about your journey. Um, so I was always kind of around rugby league. Um, my dad played it, my uncles, my cousins. Um, and obviously being a girl, I wasn't allowed to play because my mum, she's she very like scared yeah. that I was going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and so probably when I was like three or four, my dad was teaching me how to tackle. Like, yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> young. Yeah, so from that's, young. yeah, I got my tackle, tackle check from my dad. Um, he made me and my older sister tackle him, a fully grown man at four years old. Oh, <laughs> Practice Love makes that. perfect, yes. Yeah. Um, and I always, always wanted to play with the boys, but my mum obviously said no, so mm. I couldn't. And then, so I, I went into other sports like basketball, I went into soccer, like everything. Um, and then I think I, maybe year 10 or something like that, um, rugby league started becoming a bit more prevalent. Mm -hmm. And I asked my mum if I could play, she said no. <laughs> Probably can't, probably can't say yeah. this, um, forged a signature. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you forged a you signature. Forged forged to play? a signature to play, yeah. Oh um, oh, gotta do what God. you gotta do. Yeah, well, look at me now, Mark. Exactly, <laughs> look at you now. Paid That's off. crazy. Yes. I've never heard that story. Yep, so forged a signature, went, and then I just loved it ever Was since. Was it like a carnival? or like Yeah, a, like a little school carnival. Yep. Um, and then I remember Friday nights, we used to play. It was like a little nines comp. Mm -hmm. um, you just rocked up, whoever wanted to play, rock up. They put you in teams, you play. They didn't have any jerseys for us. I played in my school uniform. Yeah. I have a photo Sounds of me in my right. school uniform. Wow. So, yeah, just the love of um, rugby league grew from there, yeah. So growing up in Dubbo, how did you get to Sydney then? Like talk to us about it's that pretty, journey. It's pretty far. It's where, I don't, like I'm in a little bit of education. Tell them where Dubbo is. Where is Dubbo? Uh, inland. It's like inland five and a half hours. Yeah. Wow. So five and a half hours drive Bombs. to Sydney. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's and crazy. How, and you did that how many times? Three times a week, up and back. Oh so you were travelling for uh, what? How did you get into the pathways? Um, so I seen a Facebook ad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good old Facebook. It's listening yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, for the Roosters, for the Roosters Tasha Gal. Yeah. Mm. And so I was like, you know, what, I'll go. So came for the trial, got picked in the summer squad. Um, we're travelling up and back, me and my grandparents. Yeah, three times a week just for training. Wow, and big then, shout out to your grandparents. Yeah, yeah big that's shout a, out to my that's grandparents. A big petrol money. That is, that's what, yes. 30 hours in the car? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, How old were you? Th oh, I just, I would have just finished year 12. Year 12. So, yeah. what, 16 or oh, 17? 17. 17 yeah. yeah, went straight into traveling up and back three Man, times a week. Not this, liv this living I crisis, know, not many people were doing that. That's, so a, that's a big commitment. That's insane. Like, it's obviously worth it, you know. You, Definitely. You're doing you. Yeah. You're <laughs> done the nine New Jersey. You're playing in NRLW. Um, yeah, talk, just. You're from a big family, I know that. Um, obviously, family is a massive part of who you are. And every time I hear you speak, it's always about culture, family, yeah. and what you can do to um, be a good role model in your community. So um, what does all that support mean to you? Like, are you one of the oldest, middle, young? Like, tell us about that dynamic. So I'm the second eldest of 11. That. 11? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah, Lord. That's um, a, I that's think it's 11. Big... I have to double I think check. <laughs> too many. Wow. Too many to count. Um, yeah, so def yeah, second oldest. Um, the youngest is, I think he just turned two on Monday actually. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm, I'm very grateful for my family. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want it any other way yeah. to have a big family. Wow, 11. 11. The, the, the competitiveness between you is, I know, just a nice four, my siblings. Yeah, I've got four. I've got three brothers. How so do you guys not know? I mean, <laughs> like step brothers, the step brothers think, so you I count and you, you don't count. Yeah, you, add, you always count yourself. You yeah. go one of and then that uh, number, guys. Yeah. Come on now. One of 12. One of, tw one of 12. <laughs> one of 12. That's a full That's I, a full, I nearly so have, that's I nearly a full have soccer team. team. Okay, can we name them all? Youngest yes. to oldest. Yes. Go. Okay. Um, Tyra. Okay, sorry, and age. Okay, Tyra, 23, yep. me, 22, Shayna, 15, Aaliyah, 14. <sighs> this is where I get <laughs> started. <laughs> that that Jer is so um, funny. Jarell, Jarell's, sorry, no, Aaliyah's 15, yep. okay. Shayna's 16, yep. sorry. Jarell is 14, Asha's 12, and then it goes, Kaya is 6, I think. Kaya, Maya's five, Jada's four, Levi is no Jada's five, Levi's four, Josiah. I'm just thinking about your pants right now. Like they just they just <laughs> busy. Kept, they just kept, <laughs> and then they just kept going. Oh, Emanaya. Emanaya. <laughs> wow. Emanaya is two as well. Are they all in Sydney or Dubbo or all, all back home? I don't have any like none immediate. of my close yeah. So do you live in family. Sydney now? Yep. Oh, okay. So you're obviously leading the way for your family. Mm. Like you should be incredibly proud of the woman you've become, the, mm -hmm. the the role model you're setting for your older siblings. And obviously, I'm also an older sibling, so I know that responsibility can be heavy on your shoulders. But you're doing a fantastic job, Snakes. Like, Thank you. Um, leading the way for culture. And, um, yeah, culture is obviously a massive, massive part of um, 
Sneaks' identity. So talk to us about, I know you're in the Indigenous Pathways with the Gems, um, represented All Stars as well. We versed each other. Yes. You guys won this year. <laughs> they, they beat you? Yes, they beat we us won. this year. Oh, what, what happened there? Oh, well, we won last year. So it's, just, it's just been one for one. It's oh, actually, one for it's one. Yeah. For one. It's, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying. Just <laughs> yeah, so talk to us about, like, um, obviously, Olan just met you, so, like, kind of educate us. a little bit more, yeah. yeah. I'm a proud Rodri and Gamilaroi woman from obviously Dubbo. My family's from Mungandai. Okay. You probably don't know where Mungandai is. No, I have no idea. But this, I love this is it. education yeah. for me. I'm learning. I'm learning <laughs> so much. Mungandai is a small, small town. Okay. Um, yeah, culture is a, a massive part of, of me and my family. You know, we come from a strong line of um, strong, independent black women. You know, my, mm. my nan, my great nans, everyone's set the pathway for me. So I obviously have to pay it back to my, to my elders and set the pathway for my younger ones. Yeah. Has the Indigenous campaign been a step for you to move forward in culturally learning about who you are and where you've come from and your ancestors and all that? Because I know a lot of people that we speak to, it's it's usually like a big step moving forward and being confident in speaking about um, where you come from. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I want to start um, learning Wiradjuri because, mm -hmm. you know, obviously a lot of it's um, lost within – um, the generations and stuff like that. We weren't allowed to speak it. Yeah. Um, so I kind of want to be that one to um, take that initiative, learn Wiradjuri and pass that on to, to my family because I think it's so important to to give back like like you and your your siblings have yeah. been learning. Um, Māori, yes. Yeah, Māori, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. So How's your Māori, can you? Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? Yeah. But no, it's it's just like you just yeah, by conversating, storytelling, mm -hmm. um, passing down – uh, language is the most important thing. Yep. So you're speaking it and normalising that conversation is going to pass down to your children's yep. children, children, children. So, no, I reckon do it. Um, if you didn't know, the NRL actually offers um, support in the wellbeing section where you can get uh, grants for learning your own language. So really? get on to that, people. That. Yes, that's what mm. me and Rubes are doing. So, um, yeah, I was going to actually – yeah, supposed to tell the team. I'm supposed to tell the team. But, <laughs> no, yeah, we, we get all that type of support. So – do it. I, I highly encourage anyone that's listening to this, if you have any sort of culture you want to dive into and learn about, like, do it. It's so important and it's very wholesome because it's just like, oh, it's like this missing yeah. piece of yeah. who you are, eh? Mm. Yeah. Um, Sneaks, I want to ask you, like, obviously we know a little bit about your, your football side. Um, what are you like outside of football? Like, what do you do? What are your passions? You know, um, what are the stuff that you enjoy? Why are you? <laughs> You'll be blown away. You'll okay. be blown away. Yeah, Sorry, so I'm getting excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like my job? Yes. Or yeah, whatever Everything? you enjoy okay. doing or um, you do outside of footy. So my job, I'm a construction worker. Oh. So I'm a labourer in civil oh. construction. I've got my Cert 3. Oh, my God. I operate yeah. the machineries. Oh, everything. my God. She's yeah. a man, bro. She <laughs> is. She's her. Wow. <laughs> she recently won the Civil Construction uh, Award for the vocational um, part of the NRL. Uh, she won it NRL and NRLW. Wow. She's her. Wow, <laughs> you're, you're doing it all. Yeah, I won a uh, Makita pack, so I'm so excited to get that, actually. And what is that? Sorry. It's like tools. I, I won tools. Oh, you won tools? I'm so excited for the tools. So have you been in construction, like, most of your, like, alongside of what you've been doing for E, like, most of your, your life? Um, yeah, basically. So when I was back home, yeah. I was a labourer, but in a different kind of, well, I wasn't in civil construction. I was yeah. in something else. Yeah. And then I came down here and I wanted to become a, a labor in construction and I told my dad and my dad laughed at me. Oh, he's like, yeah, no <laughs> he was way. like, you're a girl, like, come on now. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, I'm going to do it because I like to prove people wrong. So Yeah, yeah. well, you prove mum wrong and not doing rugby yeah, league and no. now you're proving dad wrong. Now I'm proving dad wrong, yeah. Yeah. right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I've, I've worked for my company wards for three years now, um, wow. oh, probably over three years now. Wow. But, yeah, love it. So what are the shifts like? I'm yeah. curious because I know. Do you yeah. need a job? Yeah. Away from TikToking. Maybe. <laughs> I need a... I'm getting roasted I'll put, I'll put a good word Psychic, here. yeah. Yeah, psychic. Because, I, I mean, I always see them and I think, oh, my God, that's That's like, a real job. That's yeah. a real job. Like, oh, my God, you guys actually work. Like, I do nothing. <laughs> um, it is hard. It's like 10-hour days, six times a week. Yeah, man. Um, but Saturdays are obviously less. It's probably half a day. Mm. I told you half the girls in our team are doing yeah. the, you know, we had Abby speaking yeah. about paramedic. Yeah, we have exactly. um, Rachel who was bloody mining. Mm. Um, there's so many amazing females in our damn game that are working nine to five is that hard and then to five to nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, how is that to balance with your footy schedule? How do you end up balancing Definitely that? hard, but my yeah. company has been very um, mm -hmm. lenient towards me. Yeah. And they see you on TV, they're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they're, they're very supportive because I got the job through Rugby League, so yeah. I got it through the Roosters, so uh, very supportive. Of oh, yes. Yeah, well, I guess we can give some love to I the Roosters. I don't know if we can say that, um, that's, but that's all right. 
Um, yeah, well, balance is so hard because yeah. all the girls we've had on is just like it's incredibly hard. Still don't really know how to balance. It's just kind of a week by week basis. But yeah. um, what are some tips that have kind of worked for you in terms of balance, if you've mm. got any? I just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, eight just hours. Sleep is the recipe. Hours. Actually, yes. What do you do? Do you do? You um, Are you Google very organized? Calendar. Yes, ah, you should see yeah. color coded calendar. Color um, color coded. Yes. Do you have one? No. You need one. <laughs> <laughs> Google calendar. Actually, I'm always on time. I'm oh, been you went today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, if anyone like, knows, I travel yeah, all the way like, from the east. But um, sneaks. Yeah, sleep is so important. Sneaks can sleep anywhere. Oh, really? Like like she's me. one of those. You and Kate, bro. You yeah. can just knock out, like, just in a... I'll like just on a yeah. curl up run. somewhere. Curl up on yeah. the ground, speakers just going, bang. sleeping. Wow. Yeah. Catching them Z's. Well, I come from a loud family, yeah. you know, so I it. have to block it out. Oh, ah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> that comes in handy. It comes in handy. Yeah, yeah. it does. When you're on a bus full of... Um, <laughs> Screaming girls. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the one. We just wanted to give a huge shout out to our new partner, Remitly, the official international money transfer partner of the Parramatta Eels. Trusted by millions of customers to send money to their loved ones abroad, Remitly makes it easy to transfer money in over 100 currencies. And thanks to Remitly's great exchange rates and low fees, more of the money you send makes it to your family and friends. So download the Remitly app and start sending money today. Um, so Sneaks, how's your, how's your season? How do you think your season's been for you so far? Oh, obviously it's finished now, but how do you think it went? I think the season went really, really well. Mm -hmm. You know, we have um, a new coach, mm. Steve Jojalis. Mm -hmm. Love him. The king, the goat. Yeah, he's so good. Like he's just brought, he's, he's said some things to me during the game and like um, different perspectives. And it's just like, you wouldn't even think it. Like mm -hmm. I've never been told that by any other coach. He's just got so much knowledge. And so I think he brought a lot to the team. And then I think we had a great bunch of girls this season as well. Yep. Um, everyone turned up this year because we had that fire in, in our bellies from last year and we just, yeah. Had something to prove, eh? Yeah, had something to yep. prove, yeah. And got the right environment around us to thrive, which has been really yep. cool. Do you guys do a lot of um, team building activities? Yeah, we yeah? do. <laughs> we did. <laughs> um, <laughs> that camp, oh, I think guys, camp. we spoke yeah, about well, the camp with, but oh. It was oh. amazing, do you reckon? It, it was amazing, it but oh. It was amazing, but yeah, the full... Us, we, were we, were we were the same things. team. No, but we were like, seeing things. Yeah. Remember, we were like looking in the woods well, and it was like was going it, away. They camp? slept. They, they, they put us in sleep deprivation for two days. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Wait, is that legal? Loki torture. <laughs> nah, joke. <laughs> <laughs> and they took our phones off us. Yeah. Oh. No oh tech yeah. So, no wait, photos. where was this? Where was this? Where was it? Um, it was up past Castle Hill. That way. Okay. Some and you place. were all The boys did camp there. Okay, you were all there for two days. Yes. Oh, three days. Three days. And we had to cook for each other. We were in teams. Oh, wow. It was a big competition. Oh, you get real close. That's real close. There was supposed to be no snacks, no nothing, but apparently some girls were hustling uh, <laughs> snacks for <laughs> clues okay. we're in the same team yeah. we came fifth out of so it was also five. a competition as well <laughs> yeah oh yeah, yeah so we had like psychological um mm -hmm. tests mm -hmm. physical think, tests yeah physical, physical we had to think under fatigue oh, oh. Wow. Uh, tell them about how they woke us up every two hours oh yeah so went to no. sleep and then all you hear is like the whistle. was it a whistle or like oh. a foghorn yeah. or something yeah. i don't know yeah. and it scared the I don't know if I can say, uh, say it. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> every, every <laughs> and I like shot out of bed and uh, we all went down and they're like, all right. And everyone's like, what time is it? What time is it? No one looked. knew the time. Oh, Cassie, you had, had, the to Cassie oh, had a watch. watch. Yeah. And we looked and it was like 2 a.m. or something yep. like that. And I was like, what We had to hell? do challenges. Oh, this we had to go find our coach in, coaches in the in middle the of the wow. woods. Yeah. And then they woke us up at 4 a.m. and we had to go for a swim Yep. in the river with that the, had bull with sharks. The bull sharks. So well, okay, I probably wouldn't have done that. The so that, just, that was just a little bit about just what little, happened. That's yeah. good. No, that's but it brought us it together. Brought us together. <laughs> it, it definitely brought us closer. <laughs> it, I reckon. Well, like you loved it. Yeah, <laughs> it was really like really freaking good. Um, like we want to do it again, but harder, yeah. eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait till we none get of it. it was filmed. None of it. Was, um, no cameras. Jai did come and film some stuff, uh, but it was more so like the fake side of like, yeah, we're so happy. We're so happy. Yeah. Yeah. We love each other, but. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously got some pay out of it for the season because we were like this this year. Mm. So yeah. how, how did you feel you personally went though? This season, like that just kind of wrapped us up as a team, yeah. as a like, you know, united. I think I, think I went good this season. You did. Um, I think I've probably matured a lot as a, as a hooker. Mm -hmm. um, you know, reading cues, looking up and stuff like that. Um, just developed, yeah, just the, I don't know, the hookers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, no, I think I did good. I think I just matured as a hooker. No, I think you definitely did. Like from the, f- the trial game or even preseason to seeing you in that last game, you were my you were my players' player for that game. Um, I thought you were incredibly awesome. Read the cues really well. Knew when to run. Were making like ten to fifteen meters every run. Support play. Your passes. Like you were on. You yeah. were on. So best game to last. I say. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Um, you you should be incredibly proud. I'll say this again, Snakes. You you're amazing. You're leading the way for your culture your family, going against traditional norms, which I love to see with footy and in your workspace. Um, I guess we want to play a game now called Six Again. Six Again. Six, Ooh, six Again. Yes, you want to Yeah, I can lead it. So basically, we just ask you six questions and we always ask like all of our guests these six questions so we, everyone has different answers. Mm. Um, the first one, I'll lead it. If you're trapped on a tropical island with any of your teammates, who would it be and why? Only one? Yeah. The only one. Oh. One singular person from our team. Jeez. Think of the smart ones, not <laughs> <laughs> Um oh, I don't even know. I'll tell you who a lot of the girls said. Elsie. I was gonna say Elsie. I was thinking Elsie. <laughs> it was she's yeah. Stari- she's Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Elsie. <laughs> why? LC. Why? Because yeah, everyone's um, She'll protect answers. me. <laughs> <laughs> and she has lived on an island before. Yeah, so exactly. So she I'll, knows yeah, the ways. I would say Elsie, yeah, definitely. Well, you're pretty good too. You're from, you I know. Think I'll, I think yeah. I'll be fine myself, yeah. Mm. But she, you'd, you'd be fine. You're from, you know, know how to work the land, the bush, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah. I think you'd be fine. Okay, question two. If you could be anyone for a day, who would it be and why? Oh, jeez. Um, anyone. Yeah, it can be celebrity, it can be actor, musician. Maybe, maybe, maybe um, Rihanna. Oh, no, Riri, singer? little Riri. Riri, Riri, Riri right. yes, okay. that'd be Riri. Okay. She's a billionaire, okay. that's crazy. And she can sing too, like if I could sing, she I'd can do everything. everywhere, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah. And then I'd quickly transfer to Naked Todd and so it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta do what the, you gotta do. Quickly get the funds, okay. Um, next one, uh, Any? do you have any pre-game rituals or superstitions? No, I'm very, very chill. Cruisy, yep. Mm-hmm. Very cruisy. Just turn up play. Just turn up play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think about I don't even think about the game before. Um, wow, really? Maybe the night before. Yeah. But I don't. Because I used to get so stuck in my head about it and yeah. I overthink it. So I've just It's just muscle. It's muscle. I used to get that like, as well when I was playing football. But when you realise it's just muscle memory, you yep. can just go out and play. You've been doing it for so long. Yeah, yeah. It's just one yeah. more game, you know. Yeah. And I guess yeah. if you're training well within the team during the week... You, you have that confidence to go yeah. to the game. Like yeah. it's not like oh, last minute. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, that's good. Question four, interesting because some of the girls have said again the similar answer. Who was the biggest pest on the team and why? You. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, no, I'm joking. Probably Mahalia. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. It's between you two. Yeah. No, yeah. Between us two. <laughs> no, but I say Mahalia is more the pest because she she just like you can hear her from man. anywhere. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. reckons she can hear me, and I was like, Nah, I can hear you. Yeah. Just two big mouths. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we need that. Um, all time favorite movie. Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Step Brothers. <laughs> that tells me about your comedy. I like that. <laughs> I can say word for word. Go. Oh, give us a scene. Oh, okay, the drum set. The, the drum, drum set okay. one. Hey, did you trust my drum set? <laughs> <laughs> the way you know. Uh, nope. Seems weird because it seems like somebody definitely touched my drum set. <laughs> yeah, that is weird because I didn't touch it. Hey, did you touch my drum set? <laughs> hey, knock it off. Oh I know gosh. you touched my drum stick because the left one has a chip in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you know any movies work for work? Oh, maybe like I love uh, that. Yeah, no, nah, not like that. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you're like by both characters and everything. Like, uh, both, that's, both. That's amazing. <laughs> this one. This one, yeah. Oh my god. You amazing. can kinda get the vibe she brings to the teammate. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very joyful. Young, joyful, energy. Um that's one? last one, yeah. If you weren't playing rugby league professionally, what would you be doing? Ooh. Well you got a whole career there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Career, really. Um, but I let's say know. take out civil. I, I did want to I did want to do basketball. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let, besides sport. Oh. <laughs> a singer. I wanted to become a singer, but I can't yeah. sing. Oh, I was going to say confidence is when key, I was When it? I was a kid, I wanted to become a singer. So yeah. maybe, maybe either a sing. singer or maybe just construction. Okay. They're very two opposite ends of the Definitely spectrum. Definitely two opposite. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fair enough. You can be a singer and not be good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, true, just auto There's a few of them on SoundCloud. <laughs> no, okay, that's true. No, that is very true. You can be a singer oh. and not be good. That's, that's actually true. I didn't think about that. I love that. Well, Nick, uh, 
sorry, forgot how to say your name. Sneaks. Sneaks. <laughs> Sneaks, sorry. Sneaks, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we really enjoyed it. It was like lovely to learn a, a bit more about yourself and your career and your journey and everything. Is there anything you want to say to the fans before you head off? Um, thank yous for all your support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we honestly couldn't do it without yous. Um, cheering us on every every day. Um, and I'd just like to say, if yous, if yous are out there and yous want to, you know, do something that's out of the normal, yous can just, it's just determination, hard work and, yeah. We love that. Oh, we I love, love that. that. It's we're all about mindset here at Power. Yeah. I think that's uh, that leads into the thought next, train. Next segment. You've been hurt. I feel like you might have some good inspo for the athletes yeah, out there. Yeah, so this is something that I um, was thinking about um, with injury and it was an athlete has never... Um, hasn't been tested until it's stared an injury right in mm. front of its face. Mm -hmm. You haven't been tested physically, mentally, emotionally mm -hmm. until then. It was just a quote that I've been hanging up on my uh, yeah window just to keep me going. So I think it's the hardest thing you go through as an athlete because it it's is. the one thing that you actually can't control. Like if you yeah. control your performance, exactly. you control everything else, but getting injured, getting yep. hurt. Especially a freak accident, like, you know, nothing you the way it happens. That. So, um, you know, you're not truly tested until then and you always, always come back bigger, better, stronger. So, yeah, that's my little 10 cents for the episode. Thank you, Sneaks. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to Paradise, the official Para Eels podcast sponsored by Remitly, the quick and safe way to transfer money that millions of customers trust. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Make sure you tune in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.